So now let's see how we can work around with the edit color options inside of Microsoft Paint. So to work around with the edit color options, first of all, I'm going to bring in a shape and let's go around and fill it up with a color uh, by using the fill. So I'm just going to go around and fill it with a solid color. So now in order to work around with the color, I'm just going to go around here and here you can see that I can select different colors according to what I like. But if I were to go to edit color, then I can go around and choose a basic color and I can add it to custom colors so that I can choose the color later on. But over here on the right side, you can see that you can select a whole range of colors. So if I were to click and drag this out, you can go around to the shade you want and then you got the color right here. I can change the slider to brighten or darken the color according to how I like. Over here, you can see that you got the hue, saturation and luminance. So if I were to change the hue, right now it's 54. So if I were to change it to 50, you can see that it changes the hue that is the tone of the color a bit. If I were to go to 20, you can see it goes to more towards onto the red side right here. While it goes, let's say for example, 100, it goes more on towards the uh, right side. So it's basically dragging it from left to right. So you can see that this is the hue from red to uh, red at the end right here. So you can bring the hue onto the left side or really increase out the hue onto the right side and the maximum value you can go around onto the maximum value of 239 of hue right here. Saturation is the intensity of the color. And if I were to actually go around over here and change the saturation, so let's say for example, zero, that means it goes down. So I can uh, drag it vertically so I can really make it saturated right here on the left side, drag it down and the saturation goes down and up. That is what this value means. So you're basically dragging this down and up and increasing the intensity of the color. Luminance is the value. So if I were to increase this, you can see the luminance changes right here. You can really make it bright or dark according to how you like. And over here, you can see that there's the red, green and blue value. So if I were to do all zeros, then what happens is that you get black color. I can go around into, let's say, 255 value of red. You got exact red right here. So zero, you got 255. You got exact green right here, you got 255, you got exact blue. Blue and green, so if I were to mix uh, it, you get the sign color, you mix all the color, you get white. So this is something that you need to practice. And whenever you move this around, what happens is that uh, you simply get a combination of red, green, and blue. And that is how your computer displays our colors. So if I were to click on add custom colors right here, then what happens is that it takes the color that you're selecting and then it adds it out onto the left side accordingly. So you can select the color and press OK and that is how the color is added. And that is how you can use the edit color options inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe 